Hey guys, it's Annie and my last video was a bit of a heavy one. So I feel like I need to, you know, just say a little more about it before just like diving on into my normal stuff. Um, this is going to be a vlog. I just want to start it off with going over some things. So if you didn't watch my previous video, you can go watch it if you feel like watching a sad video. Like I mentioned in that video, it's something that I've always wanted to share, but I feel like it just took me a long time to feel like I was fully in the right place. I mentioned I, I've always had a hard time expressing myself and like putting myself out there. And that's a really delicate subject. I also wanted to thank you guys who were very nice. There were mostly positive, nice, comforting comments on that video. But there were a few very like negative, not good comments. It's always the ones that are hurtful that stand out so much. And I know some people are really good at brushing things off, but you know, I don't know. I've it's it's hard when someone is challenging your character and you know, why target someone when they're being vulnerable? Like that's not okay. But I also do know, I'm fully aware after doing a lot of reading and you know kind of understanding more of human psychology that those people who are going to treat you poorly they're not feeling good about themselves so they're projecting their negativity onto you or even sometimes they take a situation where you're being honest and they twist it into something negative because if they were going to open up about something like that, they wouldn't be coming from a sincere place. So they don't understand how another person could be coming from a sincere place. Some people even said, I don't even believe this happened. Very few though. And one person was just really mean saying that it's all for attention and that how dare I share that story. I don't know. I don't know. It was weird. I'm not even going to go into it. I know that they're all in a bad place and... I do know, like I said, most of the comments... Louise, calm down, come here. Most of the comments were very nice, but yeah, again, thank you so much for all of you who were nice. Also, I don't want to be pitied. That was not my intention. It was just to share my experience, and as I said in the video, hopefully connect with people who had gone through the same thing and, you know, maybe help someone who's currently going through it and to tell you that it does get better and it's going to be okay and it's hard, but it's life. And another reason I think that I didn't talk about it publicly for so long, I just didn't want that to define me, but now I'm like, it is what guided me and gave me purpose and pushed me to not just waste my life. Does that make it define me? I don't know, but it is part of my story and I do now realize that when I do remember and you know, hold it close to me, not dwell on it. That's when I have the most motivation to do good and stay centered. And I am genuinely finding happiness in life now. I am just recently finding confidence and mo like real drive and motivation. Like I kind of had that over the last couple of years, but I'm really really connecting with, I think, the person that I, I am and I'm supposed to be. Another reason I decided to share it now, I've been listening to podcasts and taking master classes and whatnot for social media because this is what I want to do. And everywhere I turn, they say, you need to tell your creation story. They, you need to tell your why, why you make YouTube videos, what drives you, why you're doing this. And that was my why. This And this might seem superstitious to you, but they say, you know, 1111, not only is that, you know, you make a wish on 1111, but it's supposed to be like a guidance number. When you see that, you know that you're going in the right direction. And I kept seeing 1111 and my mind would pop up to, I need to tell this, I need to finally do this, I need to put this out there. And it kept happening. And even right before filming that video, I sat down, I turned the camera on, I was like, oh, am I really doing this? Should I be doing this? I looked at my phone and it was exactly 11.11. And I'm like, I think that's a sign. I think this is the right time for this to happen. So that is what I wanna say. Thank you for listening to this very long intro to my vlog. Today I am going 
to uh, look at another luxury apartment. If you saw a few videos back, I toured one like last month and I said I would take you along every time I do so. So there's a new one. It's like in the heart of Hollywood in a really good location. So I'm excited to go check that out. We aren't moving until like December. Like our lease isn't even up until December. So this is just me trying to get prepared and get my like mind focused on where I wanna live and attract the luxury apartment I want for my future my near future. All right, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more, but let's get on with the vlog. All right, diving right on into the apartment tour. This building is gated slash secured, so that's obviously nice and a must in LA. Here we have the little lobby, and I will tell you right now that I did not do the best at getting clips this time, but you know, we'll work with what we have they have this like almost atm style package system where the mailman or ups put your packages in there you dial a code your packages are safe and that's how you get them um also they did have drop off dry cleaning which was nice as well as optional extra storage in a storage room this is part of the amenities they were cleaning it at the moment but there are barbecues there are fire pits there is like a little grassy area to walk your dog. You can't really see it in this shot, but definitely a good place to entertain. And they only had a one bedroom, one bath to show us because all of the apartments are occupied except one bedroom, one bath. But they will have two and three bedrooms available by the time that we are looking to move. So I really love the kitchen. I really wanted an island. This is not necessarily an island. It's like an L-shaped situation, but it's very spacious and pretty, you know, up to par with having an island. That sink is huge. I love the towel backsplash and they have all stainless steel appliances. Light up mirror in the bathroom. Also in unit washer and dryer. Again, a must. The other options were, like I said, two bedroom, two baths, or three bedroom, three baths. Here is the closet. So there are walk-in closets. The rooms aren't huge, but they're decent sized enough. My room right now is bigger, but this apartment in general is nicer. I really like the modern lighting. Again, kitchen is my favorite part of it. The two and three bedrooms are obviously going to be much bigger, but we just wanted to get a feel for the style. Next, for more amenities, they call this the second living room. It's very good for entertaining. I could film up here, I could take photos, like I could work from up here. Since I work from home, this would just be a really cool work environment for me. And yes, rooftop pool, we'll get to that in a second. They also, you know, over there have a bar, fridge area, and a TV for hosting. So, pretty nice. But now for the main attraction. Yes. Oh my gosh, I could use a rooftop pool in my life. There is a 360 view of Los Angeles. And again, middle of the day, on a warm day and no one is in this pool, I would take full advantage of that, trust me. Any friends out there wanna come have a pool party? Cause you know, my place. <laughs> There's also a view of the Hollywood sign over there. It's really hard to see in photo and videos, but it's actually a pretty decent view of it. So that's pretty nice. And a big thing for me is there is a gym. That is a must for my next apartment. It's not huge, but again, look, not crowded. So this will definitely work for me. And all of the machines have these cool screens where there are like workout programs you can do. I am all about this. I can make fitness and workout videos up here, no problem. And it's just pretty much enclosed by windows, so you can see the pool, I could swim, I could come work out, I can see the entire city while working out. So I am very excited about this. I could get used to this. But that's all there really was to see since we only got to see the one bedroom, one bath. And yeah, please leave in the comments, what do you think of this apartment? I just literally shotgunned pre-workout, so I think I have pink all over my face. We just got to see a one bedroom, as you saw, and like, just kind of around, but it's nice. We like it. There aren't any available units, but like I said, our lease isn't up until December anyway, so that's fine. They do have some opening up, but it was funny, the lady that works there and uh, showed us around. She saw my period hacks video, so hello if you're watching this. I don't know if you are. Um, thanks for 
thanks for watching my video. Anyway, now we're gonna go do Runyon. And that's another reason we want to, at least I want to live over here, is because I like to hike and Runyon is really close to here. So that'd be good. Okay, and also that rooftop pool though. The dream. Next task of the day, Allie right here is my own personal stylist and I'm going to Hawaii in exactly two weeks. So her challenge is $100 to pick out Hawaii outfits for me that I will like, but in that budget. So we're at Nordstrom Rack and we're doing this now, okay? I am back home and I swear even Nordstrom Rack is somewhat expensive because I only got three things and it came out to $86. That might not sound that bad to you, but I do not like to spend a lot of money on clothing because I get bored easily and I get over things. So I, I'm just really, I'm not a fan of spending a lot of money. I have some video footage from the dressing room and I'll show you what these look like on from that. But this top, um, it's from the brand Good Luck Gem. I really do like it a lot. This will be good for Hawaii. All of these things will be good for Hawaii. This is the brand Socialite and it's actually an extra small. I noticed that anything that was medium was way too big. So I guess that means my effort with fitness is really <laughs> working. And then this is a swimsuit. I really like the open sides. I definitely probably won't wear this in Hawaii because I don't know, this is too much skin in my opinion to show in front of my parents. So I will probably use this hopefully for the summer. But those are my new things. What's going on? Okay, so uh, we are about to go to a event, a beauty, I think it's a hair company event. Um, we just went out and took pictures outside of my vehicle, but I now smell like a dog, like not just like a dog, but like a really dirty dog because there was a dog and it was cute and I pet it, but now I smell gross. So I just had to put that out there. But also I'm wearing one of my new tops that... We got, um, it's technically for Hawaii, but I'm wearing it today, so that's fine. So I got my hands washed, which is a success. I got the chandelier though. This is the bathroom oh. in a house. Mirrors all around. This toilet seat is heated and it flushes automatically. Love that. Can we move in? Heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you never come back again. Been three days, now you're back again. But I'm not your man, no, I'm not your man. Lady, are you just happy? Are you happy I'm home? Yeah. Well, I am home now. I'm so tired. I feel like today's vlog was the most random day ever. Just because, well, I mean, the day wasn't random, but I feel like I got the most random clips. So hopefully you still enjoyed it. Um, I'm just actually going to be editing this video right now. And uh, have some 90210 playing in the background, but that's how I'm gonna be ending my night and hanging out with the little Lou, Lula Bell. I'm sorry for all of you Louise lovers. I did not show her off too much in this video, but she's still living the good life. 
you can follow her Instagram. I need to start posting more on it, but I post a lot on my personal Instagram, at oh my Annie. You can really keep up with my life there. Come hang out over there. I hope you like my vlogs. For those of you who don't necessarily love vlogs, my next video will be testing out a strange product. I know a lot of people like those videos on my channel, so that will be up probably Wednesday or Thursday. Stay tuned for that. Other than that, I would love to talk to you down in the comments. I love responding to comments. But that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye, guys.